Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go into the next part of Crank by Ellen Hopkins. Um, we are chugging along through this book and it is such a good book in my opinion and I hope that you guys are liking the book as well. So let's keep on reading to see what is going to happen next. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off the video now. You have been warned. Page 219. It got worse because just about then my mom came home. Good, you're up. You look dead to the world, so we let you sleep. Leah shadowed her through the door. Feeling better? We went shopping. I needed a new swimsuit in the worst way. Mom put an armful of bags on the counter, ignoring my crumbs. I got you one too. Your old one is, a pr is pretty ratty. Leah reached into a Macy's bag, extracted it for a pure wool. Cute, huh? She wanted to get you a tank instead of a bikini. Do you still like pink? Mom looked at the hot pink crochet as if for the first time, shook her head and clucked. Better try it on. Can't show too much skin at Scott's company picnic. Leah glanced down at my t-shirt hem, barely covering our sisterly secret. Nope, wouldn't do. Wouldn't do at all. All, all thoughts of bad habits vanished within a deluge of normalcy. Scott's company picnic was an annual family affair. 50 computer specialists, plus kids, wives, significant others, at all, eating, drinking, and being otherwise merry on the waterside's wave and wading pools at a de decidedly fun place called Wild Waters. Beyond all things wet, there were go-karts, mini golf, and invest your entire allowance here, arcade and amusement park style rides. The day, be the day began early, ended late, and we always had a blast. So why didn't it sound inviting? I was home, everything was the same, everything exactly as it should be, everything that is except me. I went to try on the swimsuit. Few things are quite as, hum are quite as humbling as cinching yourself up in a completely revealing bikini and standing in front of a full length reflection rotating like a bird on a spit trying to admire the naked truth staring back at you body slim but not fine-tuned boyish hips just barely qualifying as curves uncertain breast cup size stalled somewhere between a plus and b minus womanhood desperately trying to escape succeeding once a month like it or not ready or not at least that wasn't currently a problem the tattoo, however, was. It did look better, but it still didn't look good. A bright pink semi-heart-shaped thing, blue ink hiding somewhere beneath my skin. Not an easy thing to hide in an itsy-bitsy bikini. Band-aids were problematic. A little one wouldn't cover it, but one of those big square dudes would draw everyone's attention guaranteed. Besides, have you ever seen a band-aid floating in a swimming pool? Would you want to be responsible for such a disgusting thing? And even if one did manage to stay on our, on midst gushing gallons of chlorinated water, what would all the wet wildness do just to the forming scab and retreating infection? Still, I couldn't beg off. Wild Waters Day was important to Scott's leg up the management ladder. It was Mom's day to strut her stuff in like it was in her own itsy bitsy bikini, and it was always a summer hit for us kids. If I said I didn't want to go, Mom would check for a fever for certain. Even if she didn't find one, it would open the door for questions. I was really in no mood to answer questions I knew I'd have to answer soon. As I pointed my problem, the telephone rang. Jake happily informed me not to mention everyone else. It was Adam slash Buddy on the far end of the line. Hello? Hey, gorgeous. I miss you. Melted butter. Oh, Adam, me too. I can't stay on long phone bills, you know. Hot butter burn. Okay. Just want you to know I love you. Burn good. Me too. Always. Lynn's is coming home tomorrow. She'll be okay. Burn bad. I'm glad. Bree, I've been thinking we're a long way apart. Sizzled. I know. So I think we should give each other permission to see other people. Spattered. You want my permission? You have mine. Just think of me from time to time. Walted. I don't need your permission, buddy, and you obviously don't need mine. Well, okay then. Better go. Keep in touch. I really do love you. Scarred. His idea of love sure didn't mesh with mine. I love you. Let's see other people. Interesting sentence structure. Lince is coming home. Let's see other people. Unusual. Paragraph construction. My face flushed. Tears poked my eyes. Scar tissue twisted my heart. Wrapped itself around arteries. Closed tight around my jugular. I coughed pain. I never went to Albuquerque expecting to find love. I thought I had found me there. Followed me home. I never came home expecting to lose love in the space of one brief telephone call. Is it always so short-lived? That is the end of this section. I will see you guys in the next video.